Hey, it's Brad with Splash Damage Tech back at it again today with another video on this Barnes & Noble Nook Tablet 10.1 inch. I've got some more accessories in, so let's get right into it. First up is the Nook Tablet Smart Folio Cover. I'm not sure about that name, but it turns out that this cover is actually pretty smart, and you'll see why in a second. It actually says it right there on the box, so I may have spoiled it. Once it's out of the box, let's take a look at it. It's a nice soft touch material and it's very lightweight. Oh, and that clasp is magnetic, nice touch. tablet does fit very snugly into these corners. It actually feels quite nice in the hand, doesn't add much bulk or weight to the overall package. And naturally all the ports, openings, speakers, and cameras are still fully usable. And now we'll see the smart feature. This tablet knows when the cover's opened and it turns on the screen for you automatically. And same thing when it's closed. It turns the screen off. Along with this nice blue, the smart folio is also offered in red and a cinnamon brown textured look. It was honestly tough to choose between the blue and that cinnamon brown in the store. The blue just spoke to me, I guess. This cover comes in at $29.95. For that price, it feels like a decent buy. If you're planning on tossing your Nook tablet into a bag or sliding it on a table at all, I'd look into this slim little cover, especially since I've noticed that the soft touch material on the back of the tablet is already starting to show some wear, and I've only had the tablet for two weeks. Next up is the Nook Tablet Smart Folio Cover with the keyboard. Let's take a quick look at the box and get it open. The first thing I notice is how heavy this thing feels compared to the Smart Folio Cover from before. It also seems to have that magnetic clasp to hold it shut. Now it isn't made of the same material as the Smart Folio. It's a bit less nice to touch. It's not exactly scratchy, but it just doesn't feel as nice as the Smart Folio cover. Now here's the party trick, the keyboard. It also included a handy instruction sheet. It's pretty simple though. Let's fold it back like it said on the sheet and attach the nook. It has that same easy glide in that the charging dock has, but the cover does have a strong magnet to hold the base of the keyboard connected to the tablet. And here's a quick size comparison with my hands. It's quite a small keyboard. And let's close it up. 
This hinge back here is also very stiff. And the cover does add a decent amount of weight and bulk to the entire package. Now let's see how it performs. There's no way around it. This is a small keyboard. However, once I got used to it, my typing seemed just as quick and accurate as normal. Which is to say, it's quite slow and with a bunch of mistakes anyway. I could see myself using this to type up some notes or a short blog post or even an essay. I wouldn't want to write the first draft of a novel on here though, just because of the limited size. The keyboard is pretty quiet and of course very short travel as expected. Now concerning that size, let's get a real comparison in here. Here's my Lenovo 500S 14 inch laptop with a near full size keyboard. The difference here is just massive. Let's get something a bit closer in size, and price actually. Here's my Asus C201, an 11.6 inch Chromebook from a few years ago. The difference here isn't quite as dramatic, but the Nook tablet is still a good bit smaller. This keyboard cover comes in at $39.95. That kind of money could get you any number of Bluetooth keyboards that will feel better and be just as portable. However, none of them will be as polished and nicely finished as this official Nook accessory is. If you're planning on doing a lot of typing on your Nook Tablet 10.1 inch, this cover makes great sense. And it definitely feels like it's worth the price based on the materials and that added practicality. Well that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at a few Nook covers. And if you found it useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more Nook Tablet content. Next up, I've got a few devices on hand to do some real world testing and a back-to-back -back comparison with a Kindle Fire HD 10. Thanks for watching and have a great day.